Millbrook. Exceptional artist. He's got some of his pieces out in front of our store today. That's his contact information. I'll give him a call. I don't know if you can read that well. These are some of the local pieces he's, he's done. He's an exceptional artist. Oh, we're here with Bob Pucci, who's uh, repairing a 19th century Rogers statue that we intend to put in a future auction. We're in the Millbrook Auction Center right now. Bob Pucci is a um, art restorer among many hats he wears. And I'll let you uh, look at some of his work as we go along. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Okay. Yeah. What's the name of that particular statue, Bob? This is called uh, Coming to the Parson. And uh, it's, it was probably one of the more popular ones. Uh, Rogers statues were kind of like almost in every American home. What, uh, what would be the age, uh, the uh, year approximately? Uh, well, these would have been made anywhere from about 1860 uh, to uh, about 1890. And I think this one has a, uh, this one doesn't seem to be dated, but this one is probably from, from the 1870s. Wow. And there was, uh, you know, the, I always think of the Rogers groups as a little bit like uh, related to Courier and Ives in terms of their popularity. Mm -hmm. And also the just the kind of depiction of, uh, of kind of like everyday life of, of people. And here, you know, in the coming to the parson, the, the, you know, there's a, a dog and a, and a cat sort of eyeing each other suspiciously. <laughs> and uh, you know that's kind of like uh, in a lot of them. There's a little bit of uh, this kind of humor, mm -hmm. uh, and unusually a lot of detail. And they were assembled in pieces. So the cat, for example, would have been molded uh, separately, probably the parson and the couple, and then they would have all been sort of uh, joined together, uh, you know, in a platform. Now you could. Uh, also, uh, very interesting, buy these by a uh, catalog, and uh, you could uh, buy uh, lifetime uh, support. So if, uh, if for example, something broke. Like, like, like this. Like this uh, cat who has uh, suffered a little bit of an injury, that, uh, you know, you could uh, send it back, and they would uh, repair it. Mm and uh, probably give it a fresh coat of paint. Now most of these when they were first painted were a kind of a putty color and uh, I guess the uh, the idea was to make it look uh, like terracotta mm -hmm. and um, and of course they were plaster but terracotta was uh, was considered to be a slightly higher grade of uh, sculpture uh, than a plaster sculpture Mm -hmm. And uh, then sometimes uh, these were done in uh, uh, a kind of uh, marbleized uh, dust called parian. And that, uh, those were a little bit more rare. And they were also cast in bronze. And in fact, if you go to the Metropolitan Museum, uh, there is a bronze version of uh, one of the Civil War pieces called One More Shot. And that's uh, in uh, on display in the 19th century room of uh, the American Room. Hmm. A lot of his subject matter was Civil War related, correct? Yeah. Well, he first made his uh, mark, so to speak, or came to prominence with a, a piece called the Slave Auction, and um, it was uh, you know very much in support of the abolitionist movement, and that was actually b before the war, just at the start of the war. And uh, then throughout the war, uh, I think one more shot was made in like 1862. Uh, and uh, he had several other ones that coming to the town pump. Um, there was another one uh, where uh, there's a, a picket guard. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, and, uh, after... It's a nice statue, it looks like. It's a very nice piece. Coming to the parson. Come to the parson.
Come to this. This is your tools of the trade, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have uh, keep a. Uh, so you do it all art restorations for uh, Don Navarro uh, Hyde Park Country Auctions. Well, I f I do some fixes, little fixes on things. We don't fix things too much there. But, mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit of a touch up I've done on, and I've done my own stuff quite a bit. And actually, I've got a backlog of things I've got to take care of. But, mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, you, you did an excellent job here. Can I give folks a closer look at the, what you described before about the dog and the cat? Yeah. The looking at each other warily. Mm-hmm. Or warily. Interesting, interesting uh, piece. Come to the Parsons, eh? Come to, coming to the Parsons. Coming to the Parsons. Yeah. 18? Right, 1880s, I would say. Mm. Thank you, Bob Pucci. All right. Appreciate your work on this. This should be in our next auction, the Millbrook Auction Center, which should be uh, towards the end of July of 2020. All right, thanks again, Bob. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.